Well, thank you all so much for having me. You know, what a school. I mean, really, when you boil right down to it. You know, <clears throat> I've coached a lot of places. And uh, I've coached against you guys from time to time. And from time to time, you all beating the fire out of my team. <laughs> but, uh, but really, truly, what a school. Incredible. I mean, when you think about it. I think you've got 443 kids in the school or somewhere close to that. 200, I guess, plus that are high schoolers. You know, <clears throat> just think, 100% graduation rate, is that correct? And, and the enrollment in our four-year institutions off the chart. Now, all that said, so many places today are really struggling in education life. And you knock it off the, off the chart. And in doing so, before you know it, you spin around three or four times, and you're me. You know, believe it or not, when I was you, I was skinny and had brown hair. <laughs> and then I grew another body. <laughs> but now, just think, and just think about this. My grandparents never had indoor plumbing. Now think about that. What's the likelihood that that guy could own the Greenbrier, could be sitting right here talking to you being the governor? And this country is unbelievable. Your absolute wildest dreams can come, can come true. But you know what? My dad always said to me just this. He said, the only thing in life that nobody can take away from you is your education. Think about that. The only thing that somebody can't take away from you is your education. And you're getting the best of the best. You're on your way. Your teachers, your great principal, father, all the different folks that are absolutely helping you along this path have put you there. Now, if you screw it up, that's on you. But you've got the springboard now to do greatness beyond belief. And we all know that the last 18 months or so have been tough on all of us. You wear this mask every day. It's tough on everybody. But at the end of the day, you have done something here today that is also unbelievable. I have three things to bring you today. I bring myself. I sit on this stool. You're sitting here, I know, wondering, how strong is that stool? <laughs> and it's strong. This is a workout right now. That's the first thing. The second thing is, I've got my little buddy who wants to say hi to you. <laughs> And today, we're off and running in West Virginia, we're killing it, and that's why 
when you go off and get your ed educations that you may be, we want you back here. Well, in all this, in this terrible pandemic, I kept looking at her. And I kept thinking, you know, she makes everybody smile. And she, and she loves everybody. She loves everybody. Well, how could there be anything better to get us through this pandemic than maybe just this little teeny dog that's on the same dietary program that I'm on? <laughs> we just had chicken, chicken fingers. And, uh, but really and truly, just maybe this little dog can help us. And with all that, the third thing that I have to, 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 to bring you today is just this. We had a competition in the Department of Education all across the state, 77 schools in it, as to who could have the highest percentage of vaccination of any school. You won. I've got to come Thank <laughs> you. 